I'm not trying to represent the landscape directly or literally. I don't paint the shapes of the hills directly onto my pots or anything like that. It's almost like an infusion into my work of the, my relationship with the landscape and the details that inspire me and interest me. You know, like the way perhaps a rock has been formed and then faulted, or how a path winds its way across a field or a hillside. It's those sort of elements that somehow find their way into my work. Uh, Aberythe is a black sand beach and all the rock there is very dark. It used to be used as a slate mine and um, I chose Aberythe partly because it's one of the beaches I spent time on when I was little but also because it had slate and I knew that slate worked well within the ceramic process. At low tide there's proper black sand but above that it's sort of a storm beach of pebbles and where the waves have moved in and out, it's graded the stone right from large pebbles like this right down to sort of very fine grained. It's not as fine as sand but it's sort of a grade up. And sand is almost too fine for the work so it's, it's just that little bit bigger and I use that, I put that into, the, into my clay. When it's fired the stone actually melts and boils and bubbles and creates texture and bleeds within the glazes. Abermaur is a beach up the coast from here. So it was quite a large beach backed by pebbles. On the northern end there's a clay deposit which to me almost looks like mudstone. Uh, I also use it as a glaze, just the one material. I fire very high, so uh, many of the clays that I dig up are, are molten at that temperature, so what I do is I use a lot of the clays as detail within the work. I find that almost better in a way because it reflects my interest in the subtleties and details of the landscape. terminologies in geology is massive and I, I like that. In order to talk about the landscape you've got to have a certain amount of scale. Small things can have presence but there's definitely more presence to a large object. Throwing or repetition throwing is uh, quite a quick process. It's almost an industrial process. At a relatively small scale, you can produce a lot of work in a very short amount of time. One of the things I like about throwing large scale is that that is completely different because it's, it's a, a slow process. You have to be centered, you have to be calm, you have to, it's, it's, it's not about strength, it's about applying yourself in a um, considered way and working with the material to finish the piece. I think ultimately I make what I like, what I enjoy making and what I think brings aesthetic value to my work. I hope that by working in that sort of natural way, in a sort of honest way, that my experience of the landscape comes through in the work.